What is up guys? I know there's a lot of people looking to farm the Hydro and Cryo set domains for their characters, so I want to make this video real quick to show you guys how to unlock this domain as fast as possible. All right, let me first start off this video by letting you guys know that you guys do not have to do any quests in Dragonspine to start off unlocking the domain. First, you're gonna go into Dragonspine. The easiest way to do it is teleport to one of these locations and come to this road up here, access this teleporter, and come right over here to the snow-covered path. Once you reach the snow-covered path, you'll hit this waypoint here, and once you get to this waypoint, you'll notice that there's some red rocks here, like these ones here. These are called Scarlet Quartz. You can, un you can break them and pick up the item to have a little short buff and what you'll do is you'll come up to the ice sculpture that's going to be here after you melt the ice sculpture it will turn into the frost bearing tree but afterwards you consume the buff and go to the next scarlet quartz pick up the next one go back and turn it in or melt the sculptures the sculptures will take four hits of the scarlet quartz buff to fully melt down and the scarlet quartz will freeze over until the ice sculpture is fully melted so you do have to collect four unique ones so that one is the third one there and then the fourth one is up there at the top near those two shama churls or the shamans the next ice sculpture is actually in this arena here right below Wormrest valley but what you can do is definitely go to the shrine first if you have not done this yet and there will be ice covering the shrine where you're going to go and pick up that crimson Scarlet Quartz right over there, and you're going to melt the ice to unlock the shrine to open up Dragonspine. Then you're going to proceed down to this waypoint, pick it up, and then go up towards Wormrest Valley down this path over to this waypoint here. In this little arena place, you will find some ice totems or elemental monuments, whatever you want to call them, as well as a cube. You need to head over to this cube, and once you activate this cube, a warming sealy will go around these ice totems and stop at the ones that you need to activate in order. I believe it will be this one first, and then this one here, then this one, and this one, and then this one. After you activate them all, it'll activate the sleeping rune guards, rune graders round. There's two rune guards and one rune grader. You have to kill them all, and once you kill them all, it'll open up this hole in the ground where the ice structure will be right here. You need to use four scarlet quartz to melt it down, They're, and they do not respawn until you have melted the entire structure. If you see here, this is one of the Scarlet Quartz. What, this is what happens if you do not melt it right away. And this is another one here. And then the third one will be right next to the other broken down rune guard. To get the fourth one, you do have to go behind this gate. And to get behind the gate, you have to activate two warming sealy. One of them is just on the wall somewhere and you'll just guide it over. And then the other one will be in the snow here in the corner where the warming sealy is freed. And then you're just going to escort it around. And once he reaches his destination and you have both Seelys in, it's going to open up the gate and you're going to have access to the chests as well as the Scarlet Quartz. And after you get that Scarlet Quartz, you're going to pick it up and then go back to the ice structure and destroy it. And once you start it, it will take down some barriers as well as help you get towards the domain. And the last ice structure is actually going to be over here, right where it says Skyfrost Nail. But one of the easiest ways you can get to it is start at this waypoint here, left of Starglow Cavern, and just head straight into the cavern. Come down this hole. And proceed to run down it. Once you get to this ledge, the ice structure will be right below you. Here you'll be able to see the ice structures of ice structure 1, or Scarlet Quartz 1, Scarlet Quartz 2, and there will be Scarlet Quartz back here as well. Where is Scarlet Quartz number 3, and Scarlet Quartz number 4 up here. Right there. And after you destroy the last one, you will get the same fragment that will shoot up in the sky. You can see here, you're going to get a quest called In the Mountains that you're going to have to go navigate to and finish to get access to the domain. You're going to teleport to the Statue of the Seven and climb up to that blue quest marker. Once you climb to the top, you will activate the cutscene where you're going to have to destroy ice structures again. You can see one floating up there and use the Scarlet Quartz to destroy them as well.
Once you destroy those two little monsters, you'll have access to this quartz where you can pick it up. And I will proceed to shoot one of them. Once you destroy that lava churl, you will have access to the scarlet quartz over here, and you're going to destroy that one. Afterwards, you're going to go and destroy another ice structure, in which I'm going to choose to destroy this one. Alright, after you deal with the lava churl and get the scarlet quartz that would be down there, you can climb up here from this little slope here and climb up to the top where there will be a, a Nemo totem or an elemental monument, and you're going to use this wind tunnel to fly on up. And head over towards these rings, and you're gonna fly through these rings to get the last Scarlet Quartz over there on the right. And once you get the Scarlet Quartz, feel free to use your bow character or something else to go and shoot the last ice structure. Or for me here, you're gonna see I'm just gonna go and use my melee character. There you go. And once that's done, it has unlocked the domain. It's just going to take a little while for the stones to gather up pieces together and formulate this little structure for the quest to be completed. After all those ice structures are destroyed, you now have access to the last, the Cryo Hydro Domain. If you have friends that have not completed that quest line and you still just all want to go farm the Cryo Hydro set, you guys can all farm it together immediately. Only the host of the world has to have it done. Just like with other domains, only the host has to have unlocked it but you do have to be the proper ar you can see here we got a pe couple people in my world and we're gonna go hop into the domain but yeah this is the domain for those that are curious all it is is one cryo abyss mage and one lava churl it's very simple to do it uh this was nerfed from compared to pioneer testing because apparently sheer cold and this were too hard and so they nerfed both sheer cold and the cry the domain itself Alright, that's going to be the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please do consider leaving a like, comment down below if this guide was easy for you or not. Please subscribe for more Genshin related content. Join our Discord to be part of our Genshin Impact community for tips and tricks and help. And also just to do co-op with other people. Follow me on Twitch if you guys want some live tips and discussions on the game. We did make this video live on Twitch as well as do a lot more testing on Albedo and other things on our Twitch as well. And follow me on my socials such as Twitter and Instagram for live quick tips on the game. We did post about the servers going live immediately as well as post a Crimson Agate uh, map for those that want to collect all the Crimson Agate on my Twitter. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.